Dee Baba. Okay, Dee Baba is an actual person, and she just retained the Olympic title. She won back when she was 27 years old in Beijing. She won the gold medal for the 10,000 meter race. I actually watched this race, and it was it was probably I think 32 laps. It's so epic. It's so intense. This ra uh, this race it lasted 30 minutes long, and I, I I don't know why. I just thought it was interesting, so I thought I'd watch it. But every time I watch these races, I'm always thinking, okay, where's the Kenyans because they're gonna finish first. But in this race, it actually started off with three Korean people at the beginning but I'm thinking okay there's three Koreans in the beginning but usually in the end it's gonna be oh the person that won the gold medal the D Baba person she's Ethiopian and actually more recently the Ethiopians has been more con uh, more contestants into the races and they've actually been uh, meddling a lot more than the Kenyans but the Ken the Kenyans are obviously the, the most favored and heavy favorites for the golds every single year I don't know why they're good at long distance running but they they just are but when it comes to sprinting you're gonna get the Jamaicans you're gonna get the Trinidad Indians, and you're gonna get all the people in the Caribbean uh, but yeah so anyways so it was the Koreans that led this race for maybe the first half maybe the first 16 laps and there was three Koreans in it it's not a team thing but it's just that if you have the best times you qualify for this race and after about 16 laps they fell to the back I don't know what happened to them I, I don't really know too much about them uh, and then all of a sudden one of them drops out. She totally stopped running and goes to the side. I guess she was winded. So I'm like, okay, well, she's not Kenyan. She can't keep up. So as the race progressed, uh, progressed, there was two Kenyans and this Ethiopian person. Uh, and it was the bell lap. The bell lap means you go around what, 35 times. On the 36th lap, the bell rings, and it's the last lap. All of a sudden, this Ethiopian D-Baba D person just started freaking sprinting. It's like, wow, you've been running for like 28, 29 minutes. How do you have all this energy? She started sprinting and just left the group. But when she was running this race, she actually lapped a few people a couple times. This is not embarrassing. You're running a race and all of a sudden you're being lapped. But anyways, that per that, obviously that person wasn't Kenyan that she lapped. But she started r uh, running so freaking fast. And she won the gold medal by a mile. And then the, the two Kenyans on the same team, they came in almost together in the end. But I want to know what you guys think. And this is the first medal for track. Are you guys more interested in just watching Hussein Bolt just win everything? But don't forget that there's an American who's a contender for it. Maybe Hussein Bolt will win silver, but maybe he'll win a gold. But what do you guys think so far of the opening night of track and field? And what do you think about D-Baba winning the gold medal? Let me know in the comment section below. Peace.